So what then spirituality is, as you were saying? So spirituality has two aspects in it. One is knowing yourself, another is knowing God. And they are interrelated. Because there are two spiritual beings. One is the individual spiritual being, and the other is the supreme spiritual being. Mm. And we call God or Bhagavan or Ishwara in Sanskrit. So to have knowledge about that, to have experience of that, to realize that, that is the path of spirituality. Spirituality results in that. Mm. So, and that is the reality. Because at present we are in the illusion thinking that I am this body or I am the mind or this mind-body complex. But that's not reality. Like psychosomatic yes. being. Yeah. So I am only the driving force behind the system. Mm. I'm separate from it. So it's like you have electricity and you have a recorder. So mm. the recorder is a machine and then electricity is supplying the energy for it to function. Like that the spirit, the Atma, the Purusha is supplying energy for this body to function. It's a material body. It functions, it has various wonderful functions in it. But it's inert by itself. Mm. So the person who is making it work, that is what we call spirit and the process to know that is called spirituality. Okay. And process not to know that only become entranced in the material senses, material objects, that is called materialism. So now we are in a complex situation that we are within this body, we are in the material world. That's a fact, we cannot deny that. So we have to somehow remaining in the situation and utilizing all this, we have to understand what we are mm -hmm. and where do we belong actually. So we belong to God and we are part of God. We are not part of matter. If we are not material, we cannot be part of matter. So to know that, to realize that, to follow a process, a system, a discipline, some regimen, mm. to experience that, that is called spirituality. Going more and more towards that right. understanding. And what about the manifestations of God that you're saying? How they are different from God itself? Because you no, said it has different no, they names. Are not, they have different names because for different purposes he manifests different forms and different power he manifests. It's just like you, you go to office, so you have one role to play there. And you may even dress up differently when you go, then go to the office. When you go to party, you dress up differently, you have one role to play, you are in your home, relaxed, in a different role there. So like that God also has different roles, but God can take different forms for those roles. We cannot mm. change, take forms, we, at best we can change our dress. Yeah. But God, because He has this power, so He can actually take different forms for different roles. So He is the same person, He has all the powers. But in a particular role, you don't manifest some powers, and you manifest some of the powers. When you mm. go to office, then you don't manifest your ability of acting as a husband, or mm. as a father, or as a son. Mm. You manifest your ability to, to do your job do well. Your job well. You may be a manager, you may be a supervisor, you may be an engineer, mm. whatever. So you manifest that capability there. And when you come home, you don't manifest that at home you are not an engineer, you are not a manager. A director. Yeah, you, you are you know, whatever, husband or a father or brother or a son. Hmm. So you have that capability, so you act according to that role. Hmm. And behind so that you have yourself, like yeah. God has itself behind the manifestations? Yeah, in case of God, He and His body are non-different. Oh. In our case, our body is different than ourselves. Okay. 
So in his case, he is absolute. That's why there is no duality in him. Mm. So he and his form are not two separate things. That's why it's hard to understand how he's That's going on. That's hard to understand because his his form is not material. His form is also spiritual. In our case, we are spiritual. Our form is material. Mm. Our body is material. In his case, his body, his mind, even his dress, everything is spiritual. It's made of different energy. Mm. So he manifests himself to give education to humanity, to give this knowledge, because we cannot get this knowledge by ourselves. Our mm. senses are very limited. Our instruments of knowledge, even the machinery we may have developed to investigate, they are very limited. So are we like always constrained by our duality, or does path towards spirituality um, like needs a step to transcendent this duality yeah, of a person? Yeah, you have to transcend the duality. Mm. You have to know this, and then you have to transcend it. Mm. No, I bet the topic of spirituality cannot be talked through fully. It needs discipline and work and time. Yes. Patience, faith, and experience. Yeah, it's a subject in itself. It's a field like you study engineering, you study art, you study sciences, politics, mm. social sciences. Like that, spirituality is also a subject to be studied. Mm. It's not simply you take drug and you become spiritualist. Mm. It's like you don't become an engineer by taking drug. Right. Well, how did I become engineer? Hmm. You have to go to college. You have to study. You have to pass. Right. Exams. It was this. <laughs> it was this, and then you work. Right. So yeah. It's hard work and hard study. So same Nothing thing. to do with. with so it's not that you take a pill and then suddenly you're an engineer. Engineer. Mm. No. Mm. So there are a lot of misconceptions in people's mind about spirituality. Yeah, and one of them is like, if I go that path, my life will be boring. This is what is mostly heard from, well, sincerely talking on my, like, my talk with my uh, friends, and I was always among them as well. For me, that subject was uh, as well boring. It's, it seems like you go. Yeah, because boring or not boring, that depends on one's own interest. Oh. People in general don't have interest in spirituality, so that's very boring. For me. Mm. But then it changes once you start to like also read about it, do some steps. Yeah, once if your interest develops, then you obviously don't get bored. Yet. That's a matter of interest. Something mm -hmm. which does not help you to fulfill your desires, and you feel bored with that. Mm. So if you have no desire for spirituality, obviously it's boring for you. Because you have so many other desires, and spirituality is not part of that. And I see you like you're not bored with spirituality at all. No, I don't get bored. Why shall I be bored? <laughs> Not in my life. Mm. And it also like, looks that it's good for your health. It's good for everything. For how you look, you look quite young. Uh, yeah, I was because shocked when I heard, you know, how old are you? <laughs> because you, you, you don't, you're not in anxiety, like materialistic people, you, you don't feel sadness. And you said you, you transcend the duality. Hmm. Yeah. So that's spirituality. I'll think about it. Um, I say you deliberate and meditate on it. Yes.
one should at least deliberate even if one doesn't take interest in it but at least one should know what it is mm-hmm. there is no harm in knowing you can decide you want to follow or not follow yeah. but one should not reject it without knowing it that's ignorance that's no. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.